Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the progress bar. The progress bar is a block on Moodle. It's on the right hand side here, but it could be on the left as well. So here's the progress bar. It's really amazing because it helps teachers, whether with editing rights or without editing rights, to see how students are progressing. So it's a good idea to attach the uh, progress bar to the activities that you want your students to complete. So if I go into each of these bars, I'll be able to get the uh, assignment. So just a little click and I get introduction, which is the first bar, and that's 4%. That's all done automatically by Moodle. Okay, there you can see a little more of the activity. That's the second one. And I can go through each one to check what's there and see if the students have completed it by going into the overview of students. So students can also see this. They can see the blue bar for what they haven't done and the tick on the green, which is what they have. And then they get their progress as they go. Of course, you need to finish the course in order to get 100. And again, as I said, this is automatically done by Moodle as far as the uh, percentage goes. You can decide whether you want to have a percentage or not. So um, you can see how the progress is and how um, the participants are doing. You can also see when they were there last in the course. So if they were there on the 24th, for example, which is today, you can see how well this one's this participant is progressing. Um, you can also see, for example, if their last uh, time visit to the course was on January 9th. That's a long time ago. So they probably dropped out and they're not going to continue. But sometimes they come back late and then they uh, ask for an extension. And I always allow that because I believe that things happen in life. And uh, if we're online and the session or the course is available, why not allow them to continue? The idea, of course, is to encourage everyone to learn, whether at their own pace. And, of course, things happen, as I said, in life, and um, it's not always up to you. So there you can see each one of the participants and their progress. Uh, some of them uh, started late, some have not. You go through each of the pages, and then notice you can select all or deselect, and then you can choose to send a message, for example, to all those that you feel have not uh, been doing the work. So you can choose this one who hasn't done all the zeros, for example, so that um, you can send the messages and see what's going on. It's always helpful to... Uh, participants to get an encouraging message from the uh, moderator, facilitator, or teacher, just to ask how they are and, and to explain to them that they can go at their own pace and the main thing is uh, how they are and what's going on. So if I want to uh, have all 33, I would have to wait depending on my connection. It's not a good idea. It's better to go one list at a time since there are 333 participants uh, currently taking Moodle for Teachers Evil for 2017. So you can see the progress um, and how they're doing. Notice some of them are going ahead. You don't have to go according to a certain order. You can skip and choose as you go. Uh, this one's really doing well. Okay, you can see that uh, she's practically 50% through the course, uh, which is very encouraging. As I said, I would write to those that uh, are not moving to encourage them to move on. And again, you can send a message by clicking on their names and then going to the message and sending a message. Notice you can also select everyone and let them know that you're watching and that they're doing a great job. And those that are not, to please uh, contact you and let you know how they're doing. That's sometimes less uh, threatening than sending just one or two. So it's up to you. That's how it's done. You can also go in um, with the role of a teacher. Okay, let's say if uh, you students have the role of a teacher, that's me. You can see I haven't done anything, even though it looks like I've done something at the end there, which is an activity completion. Okay, uh, on the Padlet. You can also go in as a non-editing teacher and see how the moderators are doing. And as you can see, they're also not doing anything because they don't have to. 
You can also go into groups. Notice there are groups here and see how they're doing the group work. So I went into one group. Okay, and um, you can see how they're doing as a group. You could also um, let them know as a group if you're doing teamwork so that they can encourage each other, of course, cheer each other along so that uh, they work and try to finish as fast as possible. Uh, especially in this case, when there's going to be a collaborative uh, course at the end, you might want to tell your fellow uh, participants that uh, they need to move a bit faster because you want to start the course, the collaborative course. So that's um, another possibility. I hope this has been of help. The progress bar, as I said, is an amazing tool.